Hey. Hi. Reviews. Up in here. And we're gonna do something different today where Ian, me, the I, I in AI reviews, went to go see a film that I had no interest in watching. But he's gonna give a quick breakdown, and then I will give my non seen opinions <laughs> to what he's actually seen and see if that matches up at all. What I've seen. I've so, seen it. Bad Moms is the movie. Bad Moms Christmas. Bad Moms Christmas. Bad Moms 2. Let me just start off by saying I thought the first one was pretty terrible, and I'm glad that I downloaded <laughs> it. And uh, I, I admired the first one too it was, much. It was funny to a point. Yeah, it had funny moments. But it was definitely a movie I was happy I did not see in a theater. <laughs> I didn't so, see the first one in a movie theater either. So I'll, I'll go so. ahead and from here, I'll let Ian take it away. So Bad Moms 2, the well, Christmas, Bad Moms Christmas is basically... Explain how whole moms work and stuff and Christmas and how much stuff they have to get through and then how much all the main characters, the three main girls that were in the first Bad Moms, all moms show up. Their moms show up for Christmas. And it's them dealing with all their the moms. So all the grandmas basically huh. show up for Christmas okay. and it's dealing with their moms and then dealing with Christmas and how much issue that is. And in, they're all still single with kids. Oh, uh, no. One of them actually, the main girl has... The boyfriend she had in the last movie. Okay, so he, he makes he's it still, over. He's still okay. there, and then there all the moms are there, and then her mom, and actually her dad shows up, so she's the one that has her dad there, too. So they're all Is there. Is there any jealousy plot that she's the only one that has a dude? No. Okay, So well, that's that, that wasn't there, but then I guess they got overwhelmed of how much stuff they have to do with Christmas, and the moms are making it worse, that they're going to just take back control of Christmas. And kind of just do it their way. They're, they're putting, are they putting pressure on them to yeah, like, so do the, Christmas a certain way? So the main character, uh, the Mila, Mila Kunis, Kunis, yeah. Her mom is basically like the Christmas general. Like she, <laughs> every, Everything has to be like the way she wants it, the way it is. It has to be like this perfect, uh, extravagant Christmas. And, mm. you know, Nutcracker and 12 Days of Christmas where like she comes in and there's like normal little Christmas decorations and she's like, so when are you going to start get decorating? And it's just like, oh, um, this is our decorations. And then she goes to sleep, wakes up the next morning, and it's like the whole house has been decorated, and it has like the 12 days of Christmas outside. Is so like a manger somewhere? So it's not even a manger. Christmas it's like <laughs> animatronics Disney 12 days of Christmas outside oh, with wow. releasing doves and everything else <laughs> and music. And it's just like way over the top. And they're just like, I don't need this, and I need to... Just have a regular Christmas. And that's mm. kind of like the moms trying to take back their Christmas and do what it is. I mean, oh. it's still kind of raunchy as the first one. I don't think as much. Okay, so it's going back a little bit. They go back a little bit because I think there's more of the Christmas stuff in it. Not so much, uh, not as sexual as the first one. <laughs> there, there, there are Christmas male strippers in the movie. Okay, so all right. It's still bad moms. So, right. I mean, it's still kind of there, but... They kind of scaled it back a little bit, and it, it got more of a Hartwell family story in there in terms of, like, how family needs to come together and things like that. So it's not as wild as the first one. Okay, okay. Uh, but it still kind of kept around the same sort of bad moms, but more of, a, you know, a mom story and family needing to be together and things like that and dealing with family. Hmm. All right, all right. So... so... What would you give it at As I, scale of one to five? One to five? I mean, it's like a two. I mean, it's not like... I mean, it was watchable. So I'm not going to give it like a one because it was it was watchable. I mean, if you like the first one, you're probably going to see the second one. And with Without seeing it, I was going to give it a two. So There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, from my perspective, I mean... Kind of what you saw in the trailer, really. I mean, let's be honest. Yeah. So, um, let's be honest. So, uh, <laughs> which I'm sure there's probably some more of that going on in the Bad Moms. There really uh, isn't. Not a, there was a little in the first one. Yeah, it wasn't the first one. They didn't do that in this one. Probably tone it down a little bit. Yeah, because like the the raunchy the raunchy girlfriends ends up being with like trying to get like a male stripper. Ah, okay. And so okay. she's like, basically like, that's her love interest in the movie. Gotcha. Is this male stripper. Okay. Okay. So, so then obviously they, they scaled it down some, um, but yeah, I mean, I would give it a two based off of just the, just the trailers alone. Yeah. So, um, 
All right, that's, that's all. That's all for that one. Uh, once again, like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> comment down below if do you have any suggestions on films you would like us to watch, uh, or anything you want us to do a review on that perhaps we have seen but not had but may not have done a review yet. Yes. So uh, subscribe, also, and turn on notifications. I believe the bell is that way, somewhere down here. Uh, and then Just that way you'll see. all this stuff down here except for the don't click the thumb down arrow, but everything else. Click. Took it all. Just share it all. Click exactly. it. Like it. All that. And we'll see you next time. Peace. Peace.